Hey, what's going on? It's the Bearded One back at you again in the video. Hey, so on today's video, we're going to talk about the housing market crashing. Man, I'm tired of hearing people say this. The housing market is not going to crash, and I'm going to show you why in a few minutes. So stay tuned to this video. All right, so before I get into today's video, let me tell you who I am. I, I am Maurice Murphy. I go by the bearded one. I used to be called a bearded realtor, but that's another story for another day. So in or on my channel, I talk about buyers being able to buy their dream home and sellers selling their current home and moving on to buying their next home as well. And every once in a while, I talk about beards, of course. All right, so if that sounds like something you're interested in, click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and give me a thumbs up for the content. Appreciate you all that have subscribed to my channel thus far. Let's hop into my computer and let me show you these numbers of what's going on and why the housing market is not going to crash. I'm going to pull up NEFAR, which is Northeast Florida Association of Realtors, actual numbers, okay? Let's hop into, and let's go five years back, September 2018. You will see that the market was completely different back during this time. The numbers look really, really good if you were looking to buy a house back in 2018, but that's no longer the case. So I'm going to show you why the market is just not going to crash. So let's hop into to the numbers. In 2018, the median sales price of a home in Jacksonville was $210,000. What does median sale price mean? It means you take off the top of all the high luxury homes, take off the bottom where all the low cost homes are, and you get a real true idea of what the median, what the majority of people are buying a house at that price point. And back in 2018, it was $210,000. So as you can see, prices were going up from August 2018 till September 2018. Home sales were going up. We had a great interest rate back during that time, year over year, and actually closed sales from month to month actually went down days on market went up 16.1 percent from the previous month went up to 36 which nowadays that that seems it seems like a lot seems like a, a little list price received basically meaning what the house was listed for compared to what the house sold for so it actually went up month over month from september 2018 from august 2018 to september 2018 the list the list price compared to the sales price went up just slightly very very little so now let's switch it up and go to september 2019 so in september 2019 as you can see i'm giving your raw numbers the price went from 210 to 225 pretty much stayed the same month over month closed sales actually went down actual time on the market went up month over month if you want to look at deeper numbers you can see that from september of 2018 price went up closed sales went up 15 percent days on market actually went down meeting days on market and then the list went down 0.1 which is really not that much at all you can see from year to year and even from the previous month in august things was really shifting in the market all right so now let's move on to september 2020 right at this point in time we're in the thick of the the pandemic and i want you to take take note here now take note of we had 225 in september of 2019 now let's look at september of 2020 it's going to be a drastic difference like i said we're in the thick of pandemic 225 before now we at 240 prices went up year over year 6.7 percent closed sales went up 15 percent days on market went down 17 percent we were just normally at 35 days now we at 20 and that's because interest rates started going down. As you can see, 98.3% compared to list to sale price. So that's year over year numbers. Things were going up from month to month. Only thing that went down was, was the actual median sales price, September 2020. It hadn't got too crazy yet. So now let's go to the next year. Let's talk about next year, September 2021. Let's see, 240, September 2021, $60,000. The market was going through, going through some craziness at this time. As you can see, went up 25% from the year over year. Close sales went down five and a half. Days on market, almost half of the days on market. We were just at 30, 29. Now we had 17 days on market. That means that everything was selling like hotcakes in the thick of the um, pandemic. As you see, the numbers got even bigger, 99.6%. So we had 1.3% above um, where we were last year. So that meant that homes were getting very close to list price. Um, at this time, I know a lot of people were just putting the number out there and they were getting it because at this time also interest rates were very 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 low so people were just buying a house because interest rates were super low which is fine month over month price went up 1.7 closed sales went down just a little bit days on market month of month to month went up 13.3 percent from august 2021 from september only 0.6 went down from month to month so now let's go to the next year so so the market's going crazy right now like interest rates are super low people are buying houses um if you're not you know you're not paying cash or you're not giving 
above and over asking you all remember those days if you were in the market or watching it things were going through the roof now let's go to september 22 so we at 300 right now another thirty two thousand dollars increase so you have another 10.7 percent so actual sales went down 31.7 percent days on market went up 105 because at this time that's when the market really starts to change because interest rates will start to shift they started increasing the interest rates things start to really shift in the market but the one thing that didn't change were these prices prices were still going up closed sales yeah they went down median sales price median date of the market went up 105 percent and even list the sale price went down but as you can see what continued to stay steady what continued to stay steady was the median sales price continued to go up continued to go up like there's no there's no um arguing that price still went up even though they were increasing interest rates even though so we had 332 right here for september 2022 now we'll look at september 2023 we had 332 now we at 330 two two thousand dollar difference year over year that's not that much two thousand dollars is not that big of, that big of a deal it may sound like a big deal but it's really not that big of a deal if you look at how much interest rates have gone up from september 2022 to september 2023 okay so we we're talking about how interest rates were still going up so let's go back to september 2022 because i want to show you how interest rates were still going up and people were still buying houses so if you look at the feds funds rate you look here this is where we at in 2022 2020 interest rates were super low super low and then come january 2022 interest rates started creeping up more 2.5 and it's just the, the fed funds effective rate which affects the mortgage rate so you can see these rates start to increase to where they are now for the feds funds effective rate it's completely different from the actual mortgage rates that you see but as the feds increase their rate that affects mortgage rates so as you can see from beginning of january somewhere around january 2022 rates started increasing increasing and kept going up and more and more and more and let's go back to our little chart here so it's September 2022 we can go back just a little bit let's go back to August it's 340 then September and with the 330 332 median sales price so it's an eight thousand dollar difference and then if you look at September 2023 we had 330 so from that time we're talking between eight and ten thousand dollar difference of it coming down because interest rates have gotten so high people don't want to buy so that has brought the demand down for a person at home so i want you to think to yourself what's going to happen when interest rates come back down demand's going to go up a lot more buyers are in the market which is going to increase the price and increase the demand so that means that it's 3 30 that we're sitting on right now there's no telling what it could be september 2024 and so forth all the articles that i have read have said that they predict that interest rates will start to come back down next year when that happens we don't know but as you can see See, the prices really have not changed much year over year have not changed to where you will feel that the market is going to crash prices have continued to go up from 2018 all the way to 2023 and they're going to go up even more because as the interest rates come back down as i said before interest rates come back down demand is going to go up I mean price is going to go up so think of it like this most of you guys most of you live in florida if you don't live in florida if you notice when a big storm comes through or when some hurricane comes through why does the, the, the price of gas double when there's a need for that gas so it's going to be a very high need for these homes that means the price is going to go up just like gas does when we have a storm here all right so think about that for a second all right so i gave you a five-year look at what the market looked like from 2018 all the way up to right now 2023 as you can see prices have not went down not even in the slightest bit even when they were increasing interest rates so that's why i've been saying and i said before if you need to buy go ahead and buy if you can't afford what you want i understand wait till you can afford what you want and if you're going to sell and you need to sell go ahead and sell your house now so you can move on to that job or move on to that new studio station or whatever it is that that has you selling your home but if you don't have to sell your home wait it out wait till next year because interest rates will come back down based on economics prediction and then you're going to get top dollar for your property all right so that's all i have for you today i had to give it for both sides like i said before and i'm here for you guys whether you're looking to buy or looking to sell your home so that's all i have i am the bearded one and i'll talk to you soon